Hey my love, so first we're gonna start with our brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil in dark brown I believe. I'm using the spoolie to brush my eyebrows in an upward motion and then I'm gonna set my brows using an eyebrow gel. I then start to fill in my brows following the direction of my natural hairs and that helps to also give it a fuller but more natural look. To then diffuse the product across my eyebrows, I'm just going to use a freely brush just to brush it through. Now I'm going to apply my concealer. I'm using the MAC Studio Concealer in NC40 just to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm just going to drag that down towards my eyelids and then blend that through using my Real Techniques Buffer Brush. This step is optional, however, if you'd like to tidy the top of your brows just to make it look a little bit neater, you can just apply some concealer and then just blend that through. To prime my face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. Guys, I love this primer because it's oil free and it evens out my skin tone and texture just before applying my foundation. So definitely if you've got oily skin, give this one a try. And then I'm using my Fenty Beauty Foundation in 420. Guys, don't be alarmed. It does look a little bit too dark slash orange on me. However, this foundation oxidizes on the skin. So over time, it will just adapt to your actual skin tone. So don't be too alarmed. I just apply some of it on my eyelids and then I set my eyelids using Laura Mercier. Now I'm gonna highlight my face using the ColourPop No filter concealer guys this concealer is life absolutely absolutely life and using my real techniques beauty sponge i'm using it damp i'm now blending out that concealer on my face guys with this concealer a little goes a long way as well so you may not need as much product as i used and um, also notice that i didn't apply the concealer directly under my eyes just because um, i've got some fine lines under my eye and i didn't want the product to sink in there so i just used the excess product that was on the sponge under my eyes now to contour, I'm using my Black Opal Foundation Stick in Black Walnut and I'm just contouring my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose and just beneath my lip just to give the illusion of thicker, juicier lips. <laughs> and now using my Real Techniques Stippling Brush, I'm just blending that all in. When bending my nose, I use the same eyebrow buffer brush just because it's smaller and it can really get in there. Then to intensify my contour, I use some of the excess concealer from the Beauty Blender and I just apply that beneath my cheekbones just to highlight it a little bit more. Now I'm setting all the areas that I highlighted on my face using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. To line my lip, I'm using Max Brown Lip Pencil in Chestnut. Guys, I love, 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 love this lip pencil. You guys that are subscribed and watch me regularly definitely know this. And then as lipstick, I'm using my L'Oreal Balmain Lipstick in Colour Fever. Guys, this lipstick feels so creamy on the lip. However, it's got a matte finish and that's exactly why I love it. My lip doesn't feel like it's dry or about to fall off. Now I'm just using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finishing Dark just to set the rest of my face. And then I'm using my Maybelline Coal Liner to line my waterline. With this look, you can use fake eyelashes or just mascara. And I can't remember the name of this mascara, but it is from MAC. Now guys, I'm just using my Real Techniques setting brush just to dust off the excess Laura Mercier powder that's on my face. After baking, sometimes you can lose some warmth to your face. So I'm just adding some of my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer just to bring back some of that color. Now spraying my face with Max Fix Plus Spray to get rid of the powdery look. And then using my Real Techniques Fiber Duo brush, I'm just gonna apply some of that Fenty Beauty Trophy Wipe Highlighter. Guys, this highlighter is everything. I just love it. And it goes really, really good with this fall autumn-y look. And I'm just gonna apply some of that in my tear duct, seeing as I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. And now I'm gonna set my face using the Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray. Do you know me too well? Um, 
<laughs> I had to put some fake eyelashes on. Um, when applying my eyelashes, I always put the center um, down first, then I do the sides. And I'm using my BN Lux lashes in style nude. There's a discount code in the bio for you guys, so do check it out. And this is the completed look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this simple and easy fall look please do make sure you subscribe and your notifications are turned on don't forget to smash the like button and comment down below and let me know what you think of this look and what you want to see next see you guys later bye and if you're in london make sure you get your tickets for my makeup masterclass.